Hare Krishna. So I am very uh, grateful to all the devotees who have come today for our uh, Sasan program. I think after Janmashtami we are meeting for the first time. So it's been a long break. So I apologize for that. I have also been traveling quite a lot for the last couple of uh, weeks. And then Chennai one week, and then Pune one, and weekend every time. Chennai one weekend, then Pune one weekend, then Goa one weekend, and then again Pune this weekend. But the weekend was only Friday and Saturday. Also work related or service related only. And uh, somehow this Sunday, by Krishna's grace, I was able to come here. So thank you for being here after a long break. So uh, we have been discussing, uh, last time when we met, uh, we had actually discussed about the, uh, you know, the principal vibes of Krishna. Rukmini we had already spoken about. Then last time we touched upon the other seven wives, where they came from. And then uh, today we're going to discuss the very, uh, you know, the very esoteric pastime and very difficult to understand, very misunderstood pastime uh, of how Krishna got his remaining 16,100 wives. Okay. So uh, why people may mock, they may make fun that, oh, what is this Krishna? He's got so many wives. Uh, but uh, we have to understand what is this pastime and what is what is the Lord's potency. You know, all men would clearly understand. You know, one wife itself is always a challenge. And, you know, thinking of sixteen thousand one hundred and eight wives, it's not an ordinary thing. You have to understand this is something extraordinary. Uh, now, after we come to Krishna consciousness, sometimes we think, you know, that uh, uh, really, you know. There are so many souls in the spiritual world, so many, and so many pure devotees are there. Uh, and these Iskon Balas, they keep coming and saying that this material world is a miserable place. We must go, it is Dukkhalaya Mashashvatam. So we should leave this material world and we should go back to Godhead, go back to Golo Vrindavan, where we will have an eternal loving relationship with Krishna. Now you may say, Krishna is. His supreme Lord to be accepted and his pure devotees, you know, he has personal relationship with his pure devotees. The first problem is I am not pure devotee. <laughs> I am not pure devotee. And uh, second is uh, even if I do somehow, you know, by the mercy of Srila Prabhupada, by the mercy of Gaurmita, somehow I make it. I say be hogya. You know, Bhagavan ki khas kripa mili mein to, or main, I go back to God. But there, there will be so many devotees. Will the Lord have a personal relationship with me? So, we may be concerned about that. that what personal relationship will the Lord have? Or will it just become very great distance? It is just there somewhere. No. Krishna is the all-powerful supreme personality of Godhead. Acknowledged by all scriptures, he says himself, all the demigods accept it. All the devatas accept it. Everyone accepts it. His potencies are unlimited. The Lord is unlimited. His potencies are unlimited. And therefore, his ability to interact, you know, his ability to interact and reciprocate with his devotees is also unlimited. It is not that, uh, it is not that, you know, you know and through them, through them, through them. No, the Lord, if, if the devotee has a desire to interact directly with Krishna, it is very much possible. And if we have any doubt in our mind, how is this even possible? That's why when Krishna comes, he says, no, Paritranaya Sadhana, Vinashaya Chitrushita, Dharma Sansapanarthaya, Sambhavani Yuge Yuge. He comes to establish the dharma. But more than that, he comes to give his devotees a reason for being hopeful. You know, to give us hope, to give us his mercy. Through his pastimes, he demonstrates. How I am capable of reciprocating unlimitedly. Right? And through his very compassionate and very loving dealing that he has with his devotees, he demonstrates to each of them 
that bhai i can have a personal relationship with each of you uh, and through his past times this past time should give us unlimited hope and they should change our aspirations material world they what is our aspiration what is our aspiration what are we what is our goal in life kis cheez ke piche hum log apna din ka pura samay bitate hain we are running after money we are running after uh, fame we are running after uh, uh, you know followers we are running after power influence there is no end to it you know the politicians who are 60 70 80 85 90 90 years old marne ko pade lekin wo nahi chhod pa they can't give up that you know the attachment to power money we are all like that we should not mock others you know ke hey, hey, these politicians are greedy they are this they are that we are also like hum log ke paas khali kya opportunity nahi you know sometimes we say that uh, virtuosity is lack of opportunity you know aapke paas opportunity nahi hai to be unvirtuous to you know to make that much money to aap bade virtuous bane baithe ho jiske paas opportunity ho bana tha koi sochta nahi hai nobody thinks the future what does future hold today because of the materialistic society we all live in nobody even believes that there is another life after this yahi life hai jo maza karna hai abhi karo ye hum log ko abhi western philosophy humko ye sikha raha hai as a result of that we have forgotten who we are we are not this body we are an eternal soul there is another life coming after this so live this life responsibly at least your next life will be better even if this life is bad next life will be better If you can surrender to Krishna, and there will be no less life. You can go back to God. No more material, no more material body. Krishna says, "Janma dharma chame divyam evam yo vikti tatvataha yatva deham punar janma naiti." Punar janma naiti. No more punar janma. Maam eti swarjana. So Krishna is giving the assurance in Gita. So by hearing these beautiful pastimes of the Shiva Bhagavatam. we get the assurance mm-hmm. that actually this you know what the lord is speaking what he is doing how he is interacting with his devotees how he is interacting with you know all the uh, with the demons also you know with the demons how he is interacting it gives us a lot of hope and it changes our aspiration it helps us to understand ki ye material world mein hum log jo dhoond rahe hain what we are looking for even if you find it you will not be happy that is how the world is unfortunately that's the nature of the mind it doesn't allow you to settle it never allows you to be happy you will always be unhappy you will always be thinking ki kuch aur milega to main khush hoon let me get a bigger car let me get a bigger salary let me get a bigger promotion let me get something bigger something bigger better cheaper without spending much effort time let me get something we are all thinking man kuch bhi nahi So this particular past time that is then in verse three point three point five to nine. Okay, so there are two past times that are stitched together in these two verses. Just to set a context once more to remind you what is going on, Uddhava is giving a summary of Lord Krishna's past times to whom? To Vidura. It's been a while. After Bulge, so to Vidura. Uh, he is giving uh, you know a summary of krishna's past times before he tells him that krishna has left this world so first he is taking him through the whole you know went through childhood past times we started if you remember a couple of months back now we started discussing about childhood past times of krishna and then we went into his bal leela and now he has come to dwarka we are discussing his dwarka past times now right so uh, in this particular past time it is described that indra the king of heaven he comes to dwarka to meet with krishna and when he comes to meet with krishna he tells krishna that this narakasur who is narakasur narakasur it is this kind of shrimad bhagavatam is actually he is actually a son of the lord and dharati dharati dharitri it is said over here he just read the translation dharitri is mother earth and krishna so he is like a son of the lord only Uh, and uh, this person uh, he has become so horrible now itna wo kharab ho gaya hai 
that he came to Amravati, which is the abode of Indra. He came there and he stole my mother's earrings. I say time pass. Ke liye. Indra Dev, who is the king of the demigods, if someone can come there and just take away the uh, earrings of his mother, it's like an insult. What does he think? And he took Varuna, Varuna was another demigod. Uh, he took his uh, umbrella above his throne. But throne the umbrella is umbrella. So, what is erratic, crazy, demoniac behavior he is showing? And uh, what is this? Because he knows that he can't deal with him. So, now when he goes and complains like this, Krishna immediately leaves for this place where Narakasur is staying, which is called Pragya Jyotishpura. Pragya Jyotishpura, that is the name of the place where this Narakasur is living. It is like a, you know, it is like an island somewhere. You know, the way the description has given some different place of it is. And uh, Krishna immediately leaves uh, with Satyabhama. Now he is going to kill a demon. Why will he take Satyabhama along with him? Uh, Satyabhama is recently queen Bani head. If you go to a demon, go to a demon, then Satyabhama will take Satyabhama along with him. Okay, and we have to understand that Satyabhama will take Satyabhama. Why did he take her? And we may wonder that Narakasur is the son of Krishna and Dharati. You know, if we see Bhudevi, that's why he's called Bhaumasur. He's the son of Bhudevi, so he's called Bhaumasur. Now, uh, Bhudevi, if you see throughout Bhagavatam, various places she keeps coming. And she's what? She's a devotee. She's a devotee of Krishna. She is not like, you know, you've seen. When Kamsa ka bhot ki bad jata hai, it is Bhudevi who comes and prays, you know, that on behalf of the demigods, that please come and release the, you know, the burden on me. So she is a devotee. And Krishna is Supreme Lord. So he beta kaisa asur ban gaya. So I'm thinking, now is it possible? I mean, even the Supreme Lord ka ladka ka asur ban sakta hai. We should not be surprised if our children are not becoming devotees, right? Don't be surprised. Kuch bhi ho sakta hai. The Lord's pastimes are very exotic and esoteric, difficult to understand sometimes why it happens. So, this Narakasur, Srila Prabhupada explains in Krishna book that uh, he had the association of another Asur, Banasur. Malab, Banasur ka association le le ke ye vyakti bhi Asur ban gaya. So, Prabhupada says it is a fact that even a person born of good parents, can turn into a demon by bad association. That is why we say association of devotees is so important. Even if we are aspiring Vaishnavas, even if we are sadhakas, even if we are chanting daily Hare Krishna Ma Mantra, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare. Even if we are chanting the holy names every day, Still, if we don't have the right association, we can still fall down. It is a matter of time. Prabhupada doesn't say that uh, if you fall, Prabhupada says in many places that if we, uh, if we think that uh, we can uh, be a devotee without the constant association of devotees, we are insane. He says it is not possible. He doesn't say mushkil hai, kathin hai, risky hai. Aisa nahi bolte ho. He doesn't say that if you if you are chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra, you are reading Bhagavatam and everything. But ek akele apne ghar mein baith ke mein mera bhajan karta hoon bhai. Mere ko ye bhoot idhar aake sab se milna wagar achha nahi lagta hai. Prabhupada says, he doesn't say it is risky, it is difficult. He says it is impossible. It is insane to even think. That is why we need association of Vaishnava. That's why we come like this in satsang. We come together. Sunday evening, pata nahi kya chal rahe, kuch picture chal rahe, kuch match chal rahe, kuch kuch chal rahe, dunia mein kuch na kuch chalte rahe. See, the material world will keep throwing entertainment at you. It will keep throwing things to tempt you. Ki, aaj man jama, aaj bohut khas, 
वैसे ही हम लोग माया वी के नॉट हम माया को पोस नहीं सकते माया का यही काम है दिस इज हर जॉब टू की पास इन द मटेरियल वर्ल्ड एज लॉन्ग एज वी डोंट हैव अ वेरी स्ट्रांग डिजायर टू गेट अप सो अनलेस अनलेस वी कीप कमिंग इन एसोसिएशन ऑफ वैष्णवास कीप हियरिंग हरि कथा कीप चैंटिंग हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 unless we do these things with sincerity in the association of vaishnavas we have no chance nahi hoga that's why we must keep associating so narakasur despite being of such great parentage because of wrong association went into and it can happen to us also we should not think that bad association matlab aisa koi banasur aayega hamare piche aisa no horns wala nahi it could be it could just be an office colleague it could just be your friendly phone aur koi zarurat nahi hai aapka phone hi aapko bad association ban gaya hai right you don't need to search for nahi bad association she is bad association he is bad association zarurat nahi aapka bad association hamesha aapke sath parmatma ke jaise hamesha aapke sath hai subah uthte hi hum log pehle bhagwan ka darshan nahi lete pehle phone ka darshan karte whatsapp mein kya hai latest this is our state because we are associating like this which is why we are here which is why we have not become pure devotees after so many years of bhakti we are still kahi pe atke hue hain to apne ko level padhana hai to understand what association are we taking day in and day out okay don't be surprised that hum chatte ko so many years sincere bhi kar rahe ho fir bhi mere ko aisa you are devotional ka feeling kyun nahi aa raha बिकॉज हम लोग का बाकी सब गड़बड़ बहुत है ठीक है ओके सो फाइनली सो कृष्णा सर ओके चलो सत्य भामा कौन विद मी थोड़ा आज घूम के आते हैं थोड़ा यू नो आज थोड़ा एक एडवेंचर करके आते हैं सो ही टेक्स गरुड़ा ही प्लेसेस सत्य भामा बिहाइंड हिम एंड ही गोस स्ट्रेट टू द कैपिटल ऑफ आवर भौमासुर भौमासुर को मारने को आता है सो व्हेन ही कम्स देयर देयर इज अ डिस्क्रिप्शन गिवन इन श्रीमद् भागवतम that the fortress of bhomasu how it was protected it's very interesting he says first there were four strongholds matlab on all four directions there were armies that were protecting the the four entrances matlab the all four directions were armies uske baad uh, and the great military strength matlab aisa halka phulka nahi proper military army tha उसके बाद देर वॉज अ वॉटर कैनाल जो मोट बोलते हैं ना मोट आजकल वो है आई मीन आजकल इतना नहीं है बट इन द लास्ट थाउजेंड इयर्स यू दिस हैव दिस फोर्ट्रेसेस दिस हैव ऑल दिस थिंग्स अराउंड सो देयर वाज अ मोट यू नो वॉटर कैनाल देन देयर वर इलेक्ट्रिक वायर्स ऐसा एक्सप्लेनेशन दिया गया है शिवम में इलेक्ट्रिक सिस्टम जिसमें शॉक लगता है देन देयर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड अनिल anila is a gaseous substance so there are some gas chambers also around it okay and then there was barbed wire next layer so pehla army then at first is army then there is a water canal then there is a electric wire then there is a gaseous substance then there is barbed wire and finally there is a wall proper fort ka wall matlab aisa 6 layers hai and uske baad there is a demon called mura who is protecting the barbed wire and the the walls wo wahan pe baitha hai wo swaya hai wahan pe so this is what was the protection that homasu had built for himself matlab kitna fight mara hai usne to keep himself safe right so uh, the bhagavatam explains that in no time krishna and he is come alone he is not come with anybody else akele wife ko leke aate hain aur share karke aate hain aur beech mein it's like a police inspector telling his wife that jeep mein bait to hai kundon ko pakadte hain taxi mein aise type ka so he is just taken her along and you know he goes first those four you know uh, strongholds are there is this cat that he smashes all of them sabko you know their arms and legs lying severed in all directions they're all killed then after that with his sudarshan chakra with the sudarshan chakra in no time the water canal is evaporated sudarshan is able to generate heat also it is able to cool down things also 
that is the ability so sudarshan chakra it with its heat it destroys the entire water canal all the electric wires get cut so tar kar jata hai wo tabhi bhi tar karta tha us zamane mein tata bol wale jo bhi tabhi bhi tar karta tha so tar kat gaya uske baad jo gaseous substance tha usko evaporate kar diya ओके एंड जो बाब्ड वायर था उसको भी काट डाला सो खट 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 ये चार जो लेयर बने थे सब कट गए एंड देन फाइनली यू नो व्हेन द बाब्ड वायर्स आर ब्रोकन देन द मूरा दिस मूरा डीमन ही वेक्स अप ही वाज एक्चुअली स्लीपिंग बट व्हाट हैपेंस इज सो द लेसन वी कैन लर्न फ्रॉम दिस इज दैट वी मे मेक वेरी इलैबोरेट अरेंजमेंट्स फॉर आवर प्रोटेक्शन इवन एज डिवोटीज we may also put lot of you know uh, we may put on our door we will living in a gated community this is gated community na no? hpcl dpcl rcf tata power gated community matlab gate hai aur gate ke yahan pe security baitta hai pura demon baitta hai aapka bhi wahan pe ha wo bhi baitta hai udhar but wo utna effective nahi hai jitna ye pura demon hai but this demon also was though he is very powerful he was ineffective in front of the supreme lord right so in the same way we also have gated community fir hum log double door lagate hain with seven lever lock fir hum log cctv camera lagate hain hum log bhi apna full wall pe i have seen it is it maybe barbed wire na lamba 6 foot ka wall hai uske upar aur 2 foot ka barbed wire hai to hum log pura full limitation mein hai ab bomba se lekin jisko chori karna hai wo waise bhi ghus jata hai jo karna hai kar lo they will still come they will do what they have to do if the lord wants if the lord wants you may build a big skyscraper what a skyscraper will be if the lord wants wo pura aisa oh kaun sa kaun sa dlf ke kaun sa bol raha noida mein noida mein noida mein na super tech super tech or twin tower ka it was reduced to rubble in no time right so point is that we may make so many arrangements for our protection we may like now we have all forgotten because mind likes to forget unpleasant things but covid uh, is not so far away <laughs> resist around 6 months back it stopped right maybe on february march uh, this year that's when that delta variant suddenly kind of died down why it died down no one knows like actually krishna's grace से कब चालू होएगा किसी को मालूम नहीं सब लेकिन एकदम बिंदास है नहीं नहीं कुछ नहीं होता है कुछ नहीं होता है अपना वैक्सीनेशन हो गया वैक्सीनेशन इज लाइक अनदर बार्ड वायरस टक कर क्या के वो वायरस से साके काट सकता है वो वैक्सीनेशन कोई भरोसा नहीं यू डोंट नो आई एम नॉट सेइंग डोंट टेक अ वैक्सीन प्लीज टेक कोई वाके बोले यार प्रभु जी ने बोला वैक्सीनेशन नहीं लेने बिल्कुल लो लेकिन रिमेंबर दैट व्हेन द लॉर्ड्स विल इज देयर नो वैक्सीनेशन no double door no gated community no barbed wire nothing can save it's a very powerful story for us to understand so then krishna after breaking all this he goes and blows his conch shell so when he blows his conch shell even the walls of the thing are one of the walls start cracking wo dukhne lagta hai and then this mura he comes out and he tries to attack so first thing he does is he roars like a lion very angry and mura it is described shiva bhagavan has five heads like ravana had 10 mura had five heads so aisa koi era gehra demon nahi hai koi powerful aadmi hai panch heads wala kuch to yogi rahega kuch to rahega so he had five heads so this person he comes roaring like a lion and he attacks garuda first he throws his trident at garuda and when krishna sees that he is throwing his trident he takes he shoots arrows and he breaks that trident into three aisa hua tha teen tukda ho ke distribute ho jata hai so then again mura hurls you know and then krishna what it is after he shoots and breaks the trident then he takes arrows and he shoots five arrows at the heads of at the faces of mura he gets hit in his head in his face on various places So he is extremely angry. So he takes his club and he throws his club at Krishna towards Krishna directly. 
So Krishna then, you know, he, he takes his club, he smashes it, and then again he takes his Darshan Chakra and he cuts the head of Mura. So Mura falls down, and when he's falling down, he makes a big loud sound and he falls down. So as a result, what happens is the seven sons, he has seven sons. They are given the names, I am not written down, but they are given the names in Krishna book and Shiva Bhagavatam. So the seven sons of Mura, they also come out to fight with Krishna. And they come out with the general, the general, the army ka jo general, hota na, wo bhi aata hai, pitha karke uska naam hai. So all of them come, all of them are killed one by one by one by one. So after all this happens, uh, then what happens is Narakasu. Right? Now, after everyone has been killed, all his general and his, his Mura and Mura's sons all are about killed, then Narakasu comes out to fight. And when he comes out, there's a big description given in the Bhagavatam, that particular chapter, that how he came, he was very effulgent to look at, Mahamasu. Why was he effulgent? Lineage he has Genes he has Right? He's the son of the Supreme Lord and the uh, Bhumi Devi. So very effulgent to look. Even Mura had to describe him. He came, it was like shining like gold. So it is not necessary that someone who only who looks like a demon is a demon. Someone may look very nice. Someone may speak very nice. Someone may have the gift of the gap. Only guy ability hai. But what makes them a demon when they're against the Lord? When they don't accept the authority or the presence or the existence of the Lord. And they say, I will form my own rules. I will do my own thing. I don't care for any authority. We need not see, we need not look for them to have, you know, reddish eyes, teeth coming out like this, you know, horn coming from here. No. They could be like you and me. People like us can become demoniac if we have these qualities that I don't care for God. I don't care for anything. You know, uh, like uh, today morning, I saw one video, somebody sent one video to me, you know, of Bharat Swachtha Apiyan. I don't know if anyone saw it. It's a good three, four minutes video where some, some you know, a lot of people are showing that someone is throwing kachra, you know. <coughs> Someone is throwing kachra and then that kachra comes back into their hand. You know, and then they are saying that, you know, how we need to all become clean and, you know, we should uh, segregate our waste, wet waste, dry waste. Nice video, very nice, right? Now, if you think about it, the people who are doing this, right? Ek wafer uh, khaya, aisa, they, you know, the whole Bhumi Devi for them is one big dustbin. The Bharat Mata ki jai. Sabo jai bote. Everyone says Bharat Mata ki jai. But then what do they do? I said, door khulke. Door khulke, they spit on Bharat Mata. You say, a taxi wale ke. You are sitting in a taxi. Like I, I went to Pune by taxi. I came by taxi, right? So if you tell that taxi wala, I say, bete bete. Bharat Mata ki bole ka jai. And then he'll open the door and spit. This is our situation. This is demoniac behavior. When you know, you know this is not right. Someone comes and tells you, you throw up, you know, I remember once in Bhattopa, I was uh, uh, standing buying something and I saw, you know, one person from his car, he just tossed a bottle out. You know, a like bottle, proper kaanch ka bottle bhaate. So I went up to him and I said, What's guy? So far you figure, yeah, kisi ko lag gaya, toot gaya bottle, kaanch ka bottle, kisi ko lag jaya, tumko kya karne? So he became very aggressive. Well, look, gaadi se utar ke, do jang gaadi se utre, tumko kya karne? Tumara kya problem? I said, mera koi problem nahi, thank you. Aapko jaysa karna hai, problem. And I went in. Because I didn't want to get into a fight. But this is the nature we have all become now. I'm not saying all of you, but the outside world, this is what we get to see. This is demonia. They may be sitting in a BMW car, very rich, big family, cultured family. But what do they do? 
they drink beer and they throw it out the car. BMW से दिखाएं। मतलब दिमाग में वाली नाराज़ से करोड़ों में कमाते होंगे, लेकिन ये हाल। This is demonia. Where I don't care. City may have set certain rules. BMC may have set something. You know, one more person near my place where he stay. गाड़ी में बैठा है and he threw कुछ sweet खाया, कुछ ऐसा वो पान मसाला खाया ऐसा और बात की था। ऐसे बस तो फेंक रहा है ऐसे। पर मेरे को टॉलरेट नहीं होता है वो नेचर लग रहा है आई कैन टॉलरेट समथिंग इज डूइंग समथिंग रॉन्ग आई फील लाइक सी आई वेंट एंड सेड व्हाट इज दिस व्हाई इज रोइंग लाइक दिस मेरा झाड़ू वाला के साफ करके मेरा झाड़ू वाला मेरा झाड़ू वाला कौन बीएमसी का तो मैं तुम बीएमसी में काम करते है क्या बोलते नहीं बीएमसी में नहीं वो आता है ना झाड़ू वाला ऊपर के लेके जाएगा तुमको क्या करना है दिस इज हाउ पीपल आर वेरी अनफॉर्चूनेट राइट दिस इज डिमोनियक नेचर सो यू मे बी वेरी एफर्जेंट टू लुक एट But if you have this kind of a nature, remember we are mahomas, we are mura. We may not have five heads, okay? We may not be as powerful as mahomas, but yes, we are being behaving like right? So what happens is narakasur comes to the fight with his elephants. So this guy, those elephants were also very powerful. With the elephants, he comes to fight. So then there's a given uh, description is given. That Lord Hari then struck down, and there was a big army also with him. So Lord Hari alone struck down all the army, sabko, all the missiles and weapons that the soldiers were throwing at him. Sab fat 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 fat, he kept killing them, keep breaking their arrows, destroying each and every one of them with three sharp arrows. Meanwhile, Garuda. गरुड़ा वांटेड टू जॉइन इन द फन ही सेड या अकेले अकेले भगवान आप सब कर रहे मेरे को भी कुछ करने दो सो गरुड़ा एज ही इज कैरिंग द लॉर्ड ही वाज स्ट्राइकिंग द एलिफेंट्स विद हिज विंग्स और गरुड़ा इज वेरी पावरफुल राइट हिज विंग्स आल्सो वेरी पावरफुल विद हिज विंग्स ही वाज स्ट्राइकिंग देम विद हिज बीक विद हिज बीक एंड हिज टैलेंट्स यू नो जो ईगल का टैलेंट बहुत पावरफुल रहता है जिससे वो उठाता है यू माइट हैव सीन वीडियोस ऑफ ईगल पिकिंग अप अ गोट पूरा बोट को ऐसा अपने हाथ से उठा देता है पावरफुल है तो वो अपने टैलेंट से इट वाज यू नो बीटिंग द एलिफेंट्स बीटिंग द हॉर्सेस बीटिंग सो ऑल ऑफ देम रैन इनटू द सिटी दे रैन बैक इन द सिटी ऑल द सोल्जर्स वर किल्ड ऑल द एनिमल्स वर यू नो रनिंग अवे फ्रॉम द बैटलफील्ड एंड बचा कौन अकेला नरकास द अलोन ही वाज स्टेइंग देयर ओनली ही रिमेन सो नाउ व्हेन दिस हैपेंड नरकास सो बिकेम वेरी एंग्री So he became first angry with Garuda. He was obviously angry with Krishna also that he killed all my army, he killed Mura, he killed my whole army. But because he saw that even my elephants are disturbed by him, he said that first I will kill Garuda because Garuda is carrying uh, you know Krishna and Satyabhama. So he takes you know his spear. He has a particular spear. So Bhagavata mentions that this spear had once defeated Indra's thunderbolt. So everyone knows story of Indra's thunderbolt, right? That is also coming in Shiva Bhagavata. This thunderbolt was like an invincible weapon, which was made from the bones of Dadichi, you know, Dadichi Muni. From his bones, it was made. So invincible. It was given the strength of the Supreme Lord. Us thunderbolt ka harane wala ye spear. So he took that spear and he threw it at Garuda. That means Garuda ko maar do. Let me kill Garuda. Now when he hit Garuda, uh, Garuda, you know, he he felt as though a flower garland has been thrown on his body. When that spear hit his body, also he felt like a flower garland was thrown at him. Like in, in the analogy that is given is like a flower garland is thrown on an elephant. How does the elephant feel? वो अच्छा ही लगेगा. You know, it feel like a soft flower garland hitting you. He felt like that, so we can understand that such an invincible weapon also was thrown at him, but nothing happened to him. Why? Because the Lord is protecting. So we can see, and in many, see, this is one past time, but in many past times we can see, Rakhe Krishna Mare ke Mare Krishna Rakhe ke. If the Lord decides to kill you, no one can save you. Not barbed wire, electric wire. Nothing can save you. No mura, no demon, no body can save. Invincible uh, spear which defeated even the king of the devtas, Indra, could not save. But then 
uh, when it falls on uh, Garuda, Garuda actually feels nice. So if the Lord decides to protect his devotee, no one can, no one can hurt him. So for us, what is the lesson there? For us, the lesson see, we are not going to Krishna for protection. Why do we approach Krishna? Why do we approach Krishna? For mercy, what else? Huh? To? to serve. We are not in the business, see, in Krishna consciousness, we are not in the business of serve Krishna and you'll get something good. No. It is a very high standard, but that is the standard that we are aspiring for, at least. That, uh, you know, Ahaituki Apratihata. Um, right? Ahaituki means there is no Hetu. This, this bhakti that we are doing towards the Supreme Lord Krishna, what we are chanting, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram. We are chanting, we are following principles, we are associating, we are hearing Hari Katha, we are serving the Vaishnavas, they are giving donations, they are serving them prasad. We may do so many things we may do in Krishna consciousness, serving the movement, helping to expand this, uh, expand this corner into different uh, centers. So many services we may be doing. So we are not doing these services because we are looking for some, some puja la pratishta in return that let people worship me, let me get some benefit. Let me get some fame. Let me become famous. This Prabhu speaks so well. Na? Such a wonderful speaker he is. We don't want that. We don't want it. Because if that is what you are going after, then what is the difference between you and a mundane person? What is the difference? You want that same recognition? You still want to be recognized as a leader? Why? Then what do you have learned? We don't want to come to Bhakti for that. We have to come to Bhakti because we want to serve Krishna. If we have that intention of serving Krishna sincerely, Lord will protect us. How will he protect us? He will not protect our physical body. He will protect our Krishna consciousness. <clears throat> it can happen. After coming to Bhakti also, it very much can happen. You will have miserable health. You may not have much wealth. You may also, but you may not also. Right? It can happen. Don't think that Bhakti Mahaketa is set. Ho baat. Ho bhi sakta hai. Na bhi ho sakta hai. The Lord will give you what you need. If he sees that this person will flourish in Bhakti with wealth, because he will use that wealth in the service of the Lord, then he will give you lots of wealth. But if he sees that your wealth is a hindrance, he will take it away. Be careful. <laughs> right? So like that. So Krishna protects us. So Bhama Sula finally gets so frustrated, he picks up his trident and he attacks Krishna. So Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur says that at that time, it's not mentioned the Bhagavatam, but Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur, one of the Acharya says, at that time Satya Bhama tells him, kill him, khatam karo usko jodhi. So then Krishna immediately he takes his Sudarshan, he cuts off it. And Bhama Sula falls to the ground and falls on Dharti Mata. He falls on Dharti Mata with a loud sound. Hari Bhavad. And then after that, Bhumi Devi herself appears in front of Krishna, personified. She comes in front of Krishna. And when she comes, she brings, uh, she brings Aditi's earring, you know, the mothers of uh, Indra. Uh, and uh, she also brings the umbrella of her. She also brings a precious jewel as a gift. She gives it to Krishna. And then she speaks very beautiful prayers. Very beautiful prayers, glorifying the Lord. She glorifies the Lord. And after glorifying him and offering prayers to him, she then brings the son of Bhoma. Bhoma's son had not come, he's very young. He had not come to the fight. So she brings his son, Bhagadatta, who is confused and afraid also because of the very ghastly thing he has just seen. His father has been killed in the war. She brings him. Now, what does Krishna do? Krishna immediately reassures him. Krishna reassures him and tells him, don't worry, no problem, you be here. Though, so, when we say that the Supreme Lord has all six opulences in unlimited measure, beauty, strength, fame, wealth, knowledge, and renunciation, in unlimited measure. So, 
So Krishna, everything about him is unlimited. His beauty, unlimited. You cannot estimate. There are no adjectives. There are no words that are good enough. No descriptions that are good enough to describe his beauty. His knowledge, unlimited. Vedas to survey. Aham eva vedya vedanta krit. He is the one who is creator of the Vedas. All knowledge is contained in Vedas. That knowledge is coming from Krishna. If you just look at our human bodies, you realize how much. How much design has gone into the human body? It is scary. If you really think that this human body just came about by chance, by evolution, अपने आप ये body बन गया, it is foolishness of highest order. Human body is so amazing, you know. If you look at the human body, when we, I just drank some water, right? I just picked up the bottle. The fact that I picked up that bottle of water, there is so much that's gone into it. I was feeling thirsty while speaking, and because of that thirst, my brain told me, "What is a funny feeling?" And then my brain remembers I had put a bottle of water in my thing. I removed the bottle. I picked up the bottle. I opened while I'm speaking. I am, you know, my hand is still working. Heart chal raha hai, movie chal raha hai, and then I stopped and drink water. And while I'm swallowing this bottle of water, I'm swallowing this water. What has happened? Under the water, my windpipe got stopped. Windpipe was just covered so that water doesn't go inside. He's up in the air. Roj, jabi bhi aap pani pani you know pite ho, jabi bhi hum log kacha 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 khana khate hain, every bite. The tongue is mixing saliva with that food. That saliva is not water. It contains enzymes that are breaking down the food, semi-digesting it before it goes down. Mouth के अंदर like a mixer grinder is going on in your mouth. Then that is going down your esophagus. It is being pushed down, going to the stomach. Stomach is filled with acid. It's called acid inside. That acid is so powerful. If you put your finger in it, आपका उंगली पूरा खा जाएगा वो बट वो पेट को नहीं खाना दैट एसिड डजंट ईट द स्टमक बिकॉज इट इज लाइंड विद व्हाट इज दैट म्यूकस इट इज लाइंड द स्टमक लाइनिंग इज फिल्ड विद म्यूकस एंड दैट म्यूकस प्रोटेक्ट्स द स्टमक फ्रॉम द हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड इन इट कैसे बस अपने आप हो गया ये सब एक झपड़ मारने का कोई बोलता है बकवास कर रहा है So imagine all this is happening inside your body when I am speaking. Like you know, other people have probably once did this demonstration. He asked a question. Okay, now I ask a question, and if you know the answer, you answer immediately. Don't think anything. Okay, what is the capital of India? Delhi. How many seconds did that take? Two, three seconds. New Delhi. Fraction, maybe half a second. What is the capital of India? Delhi. Right? Answer came like that. So Radha Gopal, who was he's a sound and you know hearing expert, he explained the whole technique behind what's going on. He said, "You thought of a question. Your brain said, 'Let's ask this question.' Then your tongue vibrated. Your tongue vibrated that the sound came. It went as sound waves from here." To there, from there, वो vibrate होके आपके कान में गया। आपके कान में जो ear drum है, वो ear drum पे वो जाके touch हुआ। ear drum ऐसा vibrate हुआ। उसके अंदर जो synovial fluid है, वो ऐसा ऐसा you know it picked up that vibration, it interpreted it and created certain sound waves, which got converted into electrical impulses. Those electrical impulses went to your auditory nerve. Auditory nerve took it to the brain. Brain then interpreted what is the question? What is the capital of India? Then the brain went and searched. आपने कहीं तो वो store किया हुआ है. What is the capital of India? It searched. It found the answer. Then it inspected the tongue. जल्दी से वो रघुजी ने fast answer बोलने को बोला है. And फटाक से Delhi बोल दिया. Tongue by tongue. All this happened in how much time? Fraction of a minute. A fraction of a second. And all this happened. और 
by the scientists is not necessarily true. I don't know why I started this conversation. I want to completely off track. But anyway, so what is it? Bhagavad Gita. So Krishna has unlimited opulences. Maase shuru hua tha. He saying one of them is he has knowledge. So this knowledge with which this creation has happened is coming from the Lord. Just the human body is a source of enough proof for hundred scientists that God exists. Because where there is design, there has to be a designer. Where there is creation, there has to be a creator. You can't just say that you know if you find a uh, you know if you find a Rolex watch. Rolex, jante sir no? Rolex is not like a sasta sundar dikao watch. Like वो एक watch को साढ़े चार पांच लाख का आता है सस्ता है. मैंने कभी खरीदा नहीं है तो बड़ी. So Rolex का watch जो है किया आपने? Enquiry किया है ना? तो उतना भी हिम्मत नहीं रखते. So Rolex का watch. Suppose you are walking on Juhu Beach and suddenly you find a Rolex watch there. Huh? Suddenly you find a Rolex watch there. Will you think this has come about by chance? The the you know the um, the sand particles mixed with the waves and the wind all came together. The elements inside the sand there was little metal there. There was little you know there was a silica. That silica got converted into glass and the metal particles all fused together. And then you know, under वो एक engine जैसा बना जो अपने आप at one point अपने आप को हिलने लग गया, फिर उसके अंदर जो battery है, that battery came about, the lithium in the soil kind of came out because of a volcanic eruption, lithium came out, and because of that it somehow became a battery, and it all came together and became a Rolex watch. Would you accept this? Give it million years, one million years में नहीं हो सकता ये सब, क्यों नहीं हो सकता? उटिक्यूलस So Krishna has all appearances. Amongst those appearances is renunciation. Krishna, though he killed Kamsa, he didn't become the king of Mathura. He made Ugrasen the king. Lord Ram killed Ravan. Before he killed Ravan, he called Vibhishan Lankesh. He called him Lankesh. That you will now soon be Lankesh. It's like a matter of fact. And moment he was killed. Vibhishan also told him, "My Lord, you should sit on this throne. Why are you making?" He said, "No, your throne. You be here." Same way, after he killed Bhomasur, he put Bhagadatta on the throne. After he killed Jarasan, he put Jarasan's son on the throne. He never said, "Chal, abhi mai bata hi nahi ab, abhi isko annex kar leta hu." Isa apna Putin is annexing Ukraine. He ab unka ho gaya abhi. No, the Lord is very, very renounced. Right, so like that. So after he reassures him, then he enters inside the palace. And when the Lord enters inside the palace, we are finally coming to the topic of the day. Right, Krishna deliverance of the sixteen thousand one hundred princes. So he sees these sixteen thousand one hundred princesses who have all been kidnapped by Bhomasu. They have all been kidnapped. Now see. When lust is uncontrolled, what extent it is uncontrolled? This Bhama soul he kidnaps sixteen thousand one hundred princesses from various places. जहाँ कोई अच्छा लगा उठा है. Ravana also should do the same thing. Till he was cursed that once more you touch a woman without her, ye you will die. Then he became really careful. That's why Mother Sita, you know, he didn't force himself. He just kidnapped her. So like that, sixteen thousand one hundred princesses. So it is this kind of Bhagavatam that when they saw Krishna, right? They have been desperately, you know, for God knows how long they have been tortured by this Bhama Sutra. But when they see Krishna, they immediately became captivated by the beauty of the Lord. 
immediately and they prayed for his consciousness in, the, in their minds they were sincerely praying that this personality i would like to accept him as my husband they didn't say it they didn't tell krishna please be my husband was they are feeling ashamed how we can approach they are feeling that we are contaminated by this homa so how we can approach the supreme lord how we can approach they have that doubt in their mind they have that that worry in their mind that i don't think i can approach so in their mind only they accepted krishna as husband and they praying to providence that somehow somehow let this person accept now krishna is as in the gita that i reside in everyone's heart as super soul so he resides in our heart he knows what is our desire even as devotees we sometimes forget we behave like atheists nastik jaisa devotees bhi behave karte hain kaise jada ho gaya to aaj kal thoda jada hi bolne lag gaye devotees nastik kaise ho sakte nahi devotees nastik nahi hai we believe in the lord we try to serve him do whatever we can but sometimes we also behave like you know like nastik how is that you know suppose we were sitting here in this room and chanting hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 we are sitting amongst the devotees and we are chanting we are very attentive is that right मोर और लेस वी आर सिटिंग विद डिवोटीज हम लोग जपा एकदम कड़क जपा करते हैं बट व्हेन वी आर नॉट विद द डिवोटीज व्हेन दे आर अलोन नोबडी इज देयर हस्बैंड वाइफ नोबडी इज देयर एट दैट टाइम हाउ डू यू चैट हाउ अटेंटिव आर यू डू यू पिक अप योर फोन एवरी टाइम टिंग टिंग टोंग एंड यू पिक अप योर फोन अ and we continue with that for a long time we chant along with this if we are doing this what are we thinking not thinking exactly but what are we what are we proving by our actions that hame ye faith hi nahi hai ki abhinatva naam namine there is no difference between the lord and his holy names चैतन्य महाप्रभु से कलि काले नाम रूपे कृष्ण अवतार कृष्ण i am behaving like an atheist i mean not be an atheist and behaving like so we very careful to understand that the lord is residing in the heart he is seeing your every action every action every thought that goes to your mind the lord is observing because he is residing in the heart he knows what we are thinking also he may be upar upar se hum log bahut vaishnav ka sa tila kanti mala dal ke aayenge lekin hriday mein kuch aur hai bhagwan ko sab maloo you know but still he tolerates that is what is interesting despite us having so many insincere thoughts insincere actions and nobody is watching we are doing all these things yeah. still the lord tolerates still he keeps us in good how compassion what is really compassion so like this because these princesses were sincerely praying their hearts sincerely and seriously they offered their hearts to the lotus feet of krishna that i want to become your maid servant i will serve him there, there it is not that who oh, is so beautiful i want to enjoy with him no no one else can save us you know proper explains uh, that you know even even 100 years ago if woman was kidnapped by somebody and taken away for a few days or weeks after she comes back it was very difficult for her to get married that's how our culture has been for millennia so you can imagine 5000 years back what it might have been how how heavy it would have been so they know that hame hamara udhar koi kar hi nahi sakta sima inke so in our in their hearts they were now what the tell one is great providence would be adding one of the hearts to be the center of krishna in a devotional unalloyed devotional attitude 
no more, no more other thoughts I want to serve him. And as the super soul residing in everyone's heart, right? But uh, what is that? Ishwar Sarva Bhutana Mrityeshu Arjuna Tishtati. It says that I reside in everyone's heart as a super soul. So the Lord knows what is going on in everyone's heart. He reciprocates accordingly. He saw the purity of their desire, uncontaminated desire. He agreed to accept them as a wife. So he accepted all 16,100 princesses. It wasn't that Krishna was lusty and he wanted to marry and he went and you know proposition to all of them, all of you come, become my wives. No, they approached in their hearts and they you know stood before him and he kindly accepted. The Lord is Atma Ram, he is self-satisfied, he does not need anyone, you know, in the in the um, uh, Brahma Samhita, it is said, uh, what is that? Lakshmi Sahasra Satasam Brahma Seve Mana Govinda Madhi Purusham Maham Bajani. Lakshmi Sahasra. There are millions of Lakshmis, goddesses of fortune, who are serving in the spiritual world. He doesn't need, you know, few more, not needed. Yes. And even there, he is detached. He doesn't need. He's Atma. So the Lord, he accepted them out of compassion for them. In one sense, you have to see the Lord as a social reformer. You know, we say, both of the social reform, social reform. But this is true social reform. The Lord is truly a social reform. So he accepted them. So ordinarily, who would have been rejected by society? He accepted them. And then he sent them on palanquins back to Dwarka. Along with immense wealth, all the elephants of, you know, our uh, homas and stuff, elephants, ke saap, unko, with a lot of wealth, they were sent back in palanquins to unko dress dress, achha karke, unko wapas bejdeya to dwarka. And then he said, chalo, ab ye earrings mil gaye, aditi ke, varunga, umbrella mil gaye, so wapas dekhe aate. So then he takes uh, Satya Bama and they go to Amravati. And when they go to Amravati, uh, when they are, they give immediately they go to the palace of Indra, who is with his wife Sachi, and mother Aditi is there. So he immediately gives the earrings, he gives the you know the umbrella word. He says, Okay, you asked for it, I have brought it back. Mahamasu chapter finished. So then he leaves from there. And when he is leaving, Satya Mahama expresses that. So, the story is like this that once upon a time, I mean, some time back, uh, Narad Muni, Narad Muni, he actually he brings a Parijat flower, uh, and that Parijat flower he he gives to Haribur. Parijat flower he gives to Rukmini. Who is the senior most queen of Krishna? Eki hai Parijal flower. So he offers it to Mother Rukmini. Mother, please take this you know, from the heavenly planets. And that Parijal flower has got fantastic fragrance. Mother, it's like an outworldly kind of you know, fragrance. So naturally, you know, because she is senior wife, because of this, Satya Bama got a little bit inferiority complex. <laughs> you know? And uh, Krishna could understand this womanly nature, you know, the competitive womanly nature of his co wives. Krishna is so sensitive. Like I said, he's in the heart of everyone, so he knows. But even from outside, he can make out. Husbands can always make out. No, his wife is upset. Someone's not there. Why they're upset? Very difficult to know. But they're upset? Someone's not there. He keep asking, what can I do? All right. You know that there's something wrong, right? So anyway, so he came to know. So he immediately told Satya Mama. Uh, uh, she said that Mujhe bhi ek flower milta. He said, ek flower? Tere liye toh pura pet leke aunga pari jatka. Why are you worried? Come. So that is why when he went to see how Krishna ka strategic planning hai pura. Ho malo mein hai ki abhi bhoma so ko maanne wale hai. Ho yari ja ke aditi ko dene wale hai. Ho heavenly planet hai. Heavenly planet nahi pari jatka hai. Yaha pe nahi hai. So Satya Mama, 
But same thing, if you're getting little property, we'll do anything for it. We'll do anything. Kuch bhi so this is our unfortunate situation, right? So uh, over here we see in this particular pastime that Indra started fighting. Apna weapons leke gaya. But of course, like Krishna defeated so many skimmed and Mura go mara practice both my karmas. You know, he defeated him very easily. And then he takes, you know, he takes the Parijat tree. Uh, and as it is mentioned in this verse, just to please Satyabama, he purposely took her with him for this fight. He brought back the Parijat tree, fought with Indra, defeated him, went to Dwarka and planted it over there. Now, in the meantime, I'll end with this. In the meantime, those 16,100 princesses. They have come from where? From that Bhavasur's capital to Dwarka by Palin. 16,100 princesses have to be married by Krishna. So the Acharya has explained that when the Lord gets married also, he does it in style. Style, the Purish style. Even Shivji ka jo shadi hai na, ho isa bhot, uska bhot ule ka ta hai. Bhagavan Shivji ne kaisa, you know, kaisa shadi kiya. A very fantastic marriage it was. But after he got married, he lives like a like a fakir, he is not, he has nothing, he has no attachment. But his marriage was very grand. The same way, Supreme Lord Krishna, when he got married, he expanded. Where did we start this discussion from? That sometimes we feel insecure that the Lord will not reciprocate me. Main kaun hu? Main to tuch hu. Satya hai hu, satya vachan. Tuch hi hai hum lo. Mere saath Bhagavan kyun reciprocate kare? But see over here, these women who in the eyes of society might be fallen. But the Supreme Lord accepted them. He divided into 16,100 different forms. And the Bhagavatam explains, it was not 16,100 clones of Krishna. Each form was particularly suited for that princess. So, if you were a little naughty, you were a little Krishna. If you were a little small, you were a little small Krishna. If you were a little long, you were a little long Krishna. So, he divided himself into 16,100 forms just for the pleasure of these kings to make them happy. That's it, right? And by his inconceivable potency, he created 16,100 palaces one palace for each of them. And in each palace, Shadi, all, for all 16,100 of them, Shadi happened at the same time. There was one auspicious moment that was picked. And at that time, the wedding happened. And in that wedding, all his relatives were also there in all 16,100. <laughs> but this is what it is. It's described in the Bhagavatam. You know, in elsewhere in the Bhagavatam, also we hear the story of Shrutadeva and Bhagavad two great devotees in Mithila, Nepal. They were two great devotees of Krishna. The Bhagavatam mentions that Krishna once took all the great sadhus, Vyasadeva, uh, uh, Sukhadeva Goswami, Sapko, charity, bitha. So let's go and meet Shrutadeva and Bhagavad Went all the way from Dwarka to Nepal just to meet these two devotees. And when he met, one of them was a king. One of them was a pauper, very, very poor Brahmana. But Krishna divided into two and went to both their, both of them invited my Lord, please come to my place. And Krishna went to both their places at the same time. And at the same time, both places, Vyasadeva, Sukhdev, Goswami, everyone was there in both the places. So the Lord can do anything. If he wants to reciprocate with his devotees, he can reciprocate unlimitedly. He can create any resource. He can do anything. If he wants to protect us, he will protect us. He doesn't want to protect us. He may give, he may give a lot of suffering in your life. I don't think there is anyone in this room who can say, I am good. Okay. Suffering to sabke life mein. But with that suffering, if we can come to the understanding that what is the purpose of this life? 
कि जीवन हमारे हमारे जीवन में जो सफरिंग आ रही क्यों आ रही Why am I here? What can I do to improve my life? What can I do to become like these sixteen thousand one hundred princesses who are in tremendous non-stop suffering and anxiety, but still that one moment they got, they fully surrendered to Krishna. So we also in our lives we have so many moments where we can fully surrender to Krishna. Whenever we are chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare. Whenever we are chanting the holy names, like these princesses, like Draupadi, we can also decide to surrender fully. And if we surrender like that, the Supreme Lord is always willing to accept us. No matter how fallen we may be in the eyes of society, Krishna does not discriminate. And Krishna says, "Sarva dharma paritejya maam ekam sharanam vaja aham dwam sarva pape bhio mokshe shami maasucha." He doesn't say this for Hindus. He doesn't say this for Brahmanas. He doesn't say this for Vaishnavas. He says it for anyone. Whoever reads this, you surrender to me. I am yours. I will, I will take you out of this material world. Don't worry about sinful reaction. I will take you. If we have that kind of surrender, like he delivered the sixteen thousand one hundred princesses, he will deliver us also. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Shiva Bhagavat Mahapuran ki, Shiva Prabhu Bhagavat ki, Shiva Guru Dev ki, Shiva Guru Dev ki. Any questions, comments, anybody? Oh, it's heavy. Okay. <laughs> Anyone has any questions or comments and would like to add something? Share something? Yes. Uh, there is a uh, conch shell. Ka, oh, that, uh, that is the name of a conch. Uh, uh, that you mentioned. Uh, could be, could be. I, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. I, I maybe I am not aware. ये अभी active हो रहे हमारे भाई साहब। हाँ, पहले ऐसे बैठे रहते थे, अभी वो थोड़ा ये start manifesting है। इस past time। I am not aware. Could be. अच्छा doctor मोरा डिमन मोरा भी। हाँ। तो उनका विवाह समझ रहा है also Perhaps there, I don't know if it is in Bhagavatam, but uh, uh, no, in the in the Bhagavatam it is not mentioned that uh, Krishna fell unconscious, nothing like that. Satyavama was uh, she was just there with him and she was holding him. That's all that is mentioned. Not mentioned. Okay. <laughs> and then just another clarification, uh, yeah. Krishna, of course, uh, uh, he was a social reformer, and then uh, he married all the sixteen thousand one hundred princes because they surrendered. They made. Uh, they, they they accepted him as in his in their hearts as their their husband. Now, what happened to the eight wives? Could they take uh, this uh, this uh, event? Uh, how did they take the this event? Because yeah, you know, Prabhuji is asking that Krishna brought sixteen thousand one hundred and eight one thousand sixteen thousand one hundred wives. The main principal wives they unka kya hua? <laughs> yeah, so they accepted. They accepted because. See, and that is the nature of the spiritual world. The spiritual world, you know, even in the material world, actually, we should have this. Uh, we should have this spirit of abundance. 
There's a lot of abundance. There's place for everyone. हमें हम लोग इनसेक्योर हो जाते हैं ना कि मेरी जगह कोई ले लेगा somebody will take my place if i allow that person to come up to main mera position kha lega the lot of abundance in this material world you should be very secure you should learn to depend on krishna and i want to serve krishna and getting opportunity to serve krishna and serve if he takes me away from service i will still be with him if he keeps me in service i will still be with him if he ignores me i will still be with him If he insults me, I will still be with him. That is the mode that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gives. Ashish Shiva Pad Rata Vinash Tama Adarshana Man Mahata Karuva Yatha Tatha Pad Vidhat Nambuto Man Prana Natha Susa Ayman Nambara. My Lord, whether you accept me or you reject me or you ignore me, leave me broken hearted, you kick me, you do whatever you want with me. I am your servant, birth after birth after birth. Whether you give me service or not, I will still take the position of servant. So this is that. See these these wives of Krishna. They are not ordinary conditioned souls who become their wife, wives of Krishna. They are already very purified souls who come into that position. They just go into a particular experience before they became the wife of Krishna. They may have suffered a lot before they became associates with them. So there is a lot of hope in it for us also. That though they were in that suffering condition, still they became direct associates of the Lord because they had that desire. If we have that desire, that same thing is available to us also. Is that all right, Guru? Hare Krishna. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Hare Krishna. Shrimad Bhagavat Mahapuran ki jai Shri Ram ki jai Shri Guru. Thank you. 